Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by GhostBed.com. Welcome to the Drinking Bros Sports Companion Show. D'Anthony, we're trying something new out today. We're doing a live show that's going to drop in an hour. I'm not paying attention. I'm watching this fucking LSU Alabama. It's crazy, game. right? And that's, that was the point of doing this show today. We said, hey, man. Touchdown. Boom. Boom, baby. LSU. That's what we wanted to do. We wanted to do a live show on the goddamn day of and release it in real time. So yeah. when this comes out, this is going to come out literally 10 seconds after this is over. We are live from Instill Distilling Company. Uh, and right outside of Raleigh, North Carolina, we're in Clayton, North Carolina, with the owner. Uh, it's, it's everybody your name, Eric. Full Eric. name, government name. Oh, my government. Eric Tanzi. Spell it. What's your middle name? Edward. Eric Edward Tanzi. E.E. E. Tanzi. Yeah. I would have gone yeah. by E.E. E. Tanzi. E. Tanzi yeah. sounds like an author or uh, like a serial killer. Yeah. I would have gone with E.E. E. Tanzi. It sounds like you, you sell the finest of rums. Is that what you do? Uh, yeah. Yes, absolutely. Time to change yeah. your name. We're e. with E.E. E. E. Tanzi, live from Instill Distilling Company in, uh, in Clayton. I'm going to be honest, man. This place is fucking dope as shit. Claytona Beach. Is that what they call That's it? That's what I call it. Come on. That's what I call it. Is that a real thing? I know, well, I'm from St. Augustine, Florida. Are you? Just up the road from Daytona Beach. So when we moved here, I brought Claytona Beach. That's why uh, one of my favorite cocktails is the uh, painkiller. Oh, the painkiller? Yeah. What's in the painkiller? Oh, shit. Yeah. We've had mm -hmm. these, actually. Yeah. Yeah. My parents live right outside of St. Augustine. They live right outside of St. Augustine. We've been drinking all day. This is live, Jesse. This is what we do here. We get wet. We get our dicks hard. Mm. What's in this painkiller before I drink some more of it? Well, in that one, that's Rufy, so drink up. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yep. Just got Cosby live on air. Yeah. My yeah. ass is going to be real sore tomorrow. Mm. Prolapsing, perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to get that joke. You're not going to get that joke week. for about three more days next week. I'm but sorry, when you do, it? it's going to be amazing. Uh, I'm no, sorry. No, no, I'm no. sorry. I'm we sorry. Had, we had a I'm special guest on the show that couldn't stop talking about his or her butthole. Yeah, we're not going to say mm. who it is. She'll be on next week. Whoops. Mm. God damn it. It's mm. a woman. Mm. It's a woman. <laughs> talking about her butthole. Anyways. That's we, a song we're writing. We wanted to try out a new concept of like, hey, man, we want to get as close as we can to game day, college game day. Instead, we're going to do it with Drinking Bros, and we're going to do it at different places all over the country. Um, today, we're at Instill Distilling Company. We put out a thing in Drinking Bros. Uh, if you don't know already, it's a private group on Facebook. It was about 200 subgroups. Raleigh, North Carolina is one of the subgroups. And I put out one message that said, hey, man, Dan and I want to do a live show during the LSU-Alabama game because we're going to the Clemson-NC State game tonight. Who's got a dope place to shoot? A million people hit us up within five minutes and said, you got to go to Instill. Uh, this is your company. How did you start it and why? Uh, well, we love the Drinking Bros so much, and they helped build this whole place. But uh, yeah, I am That's one of... That's real, too. Yeah, right? that is real. Actual it's, Drinking Bros built this building. Yeah, so I'm one of three owners, and um, the whole thing started out with a, with a wine affection. Um, but anyway, so my I'm other sorry, one a wine affection. I don't know like I, affinity. You mean I'm so nervous affinity? Yeah, is that a wine affinity word? for wine. Yeah, or so an nervous. You can so affection. nervous. You can, you but can. Uh, yeah, so yeah, we were wine nerds. We were wine nerds first. Did you? Why are you a wine nerd? Because you grew up in St. Augustine, Florida. That's not really uh, a wine yeah, place. Yeah, like no, I lived in I Oakland, and we were in Napa and Sonoma all the time. So that makes sense. But how sure. did you in Florida end up a wine? Nerd? Uh, well, me, me and my uh, one of my partners, uh, who's still active duty, uh, we between training and deploying, we would go and buy some weird meat and mm -hmm. pair it with some weird wine. Yeah, and it, we kind of fell into it by accident, and it started becoming like a weekend thing every weekend. Well, people think it's all like. Uh, snooty and shit or whatever the fuck you want to call it but yeah. it's actually dope as fuck it, yeah, it no, is, we, it's, yeah. my wife and I do it all the time yeah. like I, I could literally eat salami yeah. some form of meat every night sure. a different cheese and wine and be totally happy in life every single day yeah. It's yeah. Great. so after, after I got out of the military I was like man I'm going to try to sell some wine uh, found out I'm not a good salesman so really? that didn't work out so I did the only other thing a C student without a college degree can do and that's become a cop <laughs> yeah, yeah. I became a cop. And Were you a so, cop in Raleigh? I was a Raleigh cop. Yeah, I can say that. Yeah, I what's, was a Raleigh cop. What's uh, what's the was for? I, I have a feeling something happened. To I you. got fired, but you'll never guess why I got fired. I know. What'd you get fired? Eight. Fucking somebody in the back of your car. Can you close? Get Is that where you met your wife? Did you did you, did yeah. you arrest your wife? Yeah, I did. She, did you she, arrest your fucking wife? She was selling crack to the should. kids. <laughs> Tupac <laughs> said it's okay, so it's fine. Right? Yeah, but Black Dynamite, I sell drugs to the community. Yeah. <laughs> um, was that what, is that how you met? Did you guys, did you arrest so her? She was sm she was smoking and selling crack. Did you guys ever I'm, have I sex in the in the in the cop outfit? Oh, man, she wouldn't let. No, she she hated the cop outfit. Really? Nah, she didn't like it. 
Usually that's a thing for all yeah, women. Yeah, it's because she keeps getting arrested. Yeah. <laughs> she, she has PTSD from getting arrested all the time. Take that thing off, man. Put the fireman suit on. Come on. Yeah. I'm, I'm down for first responders. It's not yours. By the way, we talked to her off camera. That's exactly how she sounds. Yep. Word for word. Nope. Very thick nope. southern accents. <laughs> She actually is, uh, she used to teach at NC State, where you guys are going to be later tonight. So No shit. Yeah. yeah well, I mean, look, we're rooting for him. She should have taught him how to play some fucking football, because they suck. God, they're awful. She does, not let awful me, she does not let me get into college sports, because she said, oh, where did you go to college, honey? Where did you go? Ooh. I didn't go. Oh, so it shuts, right. me, it shuts me right down. You can't pick one, right? I can't pick a single one. Okay. Well, yeah. That's, that's fair. She shames me. Yeah, well, she should. She shames shame, me. Shame is she a should. powerful tool. So mm -hmm. what'd you get fired for? I got fired for opening this distillery. Yeah. Are you serious? I did. I did. Wait, what's uh, the, it was what's it was unbecoming of an officer, or uh, yeah, it, the values of this distillery do not coincide with the values of the Raleigh Police Department. What's what, wrong with this place? What are the values? And it of wasn't the that distillery? I got fired. It's not that that wasn't like the big deal. The big deal was that they waited three days after building this for three years. My supervisors were in here helping me bang nails. Okay. And in three days before I opened this place, they call me in. And they're like, you can resign or be fired right now. I was officer of the year the year before that. Really? Yeah. Wow, By dude. default. I How mean, many I people really do you got to shoot to be officer of the year? Because I'm thinking about becoming a cop, and I only want to shoot people. I don't <laughs> want to do any arresting or paperwork. I have a feeling that's not how it works, Dan. Oh, I don't know. I'm just guessing. I haven't guessing had a lot out of loud. interactions with the police that were positive, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so you get, you get fired, and, and what do you say to them? Of like, hey, man, you guys knew I was fucking doing Well, this. they kept calling it a brewery, for one thing. And I should have ah. just not have corrected them, so that when all the paperwork was done, I could have just been like, oh, you fired me for a brewery, and it's a distillery. Right. Joke's on you. Yeah, joke's on they, you. They figured it out. Is it, so it, it is rum right it's rum yeah we make a white rum and a spiced rum um while i was a cop i became a certified specialist of wine uh i also got my little level one sommelier and realized i'll never work in a restaurant ever um and so i didn't know what to do with that certified specialist of wine diploma it was very hard to earn through the society yeah, of wine have, you, have you seen psalm the documentary oh yeah Holy dude so lots fuck. of study dude. lots of studying. that's the craziest shit i've ever seen. like we've done tough. some hard things in our lives yeah but nothing like intellectually speaking, you, you can you can either do that or you can't. I feel like there's no way to fucking. Force it was a, it was a good journey. Um, a I, bit, yeah. I watched that doc on Netflix. That was one of the first ones I watched, and I thought I can't fucking do this. It's so much nuts. hard work. The, the, I was not a master sommelier. Yeah, so but I didn't go the even whole taking course. that test. Like, yeah, yeah. Was it intense? Oh, it was absolutely there's intense. There's four levels, right? Yeah, there, right? Yes, yeah. Technically, well, technically, there's three. Yes, three. Yeah, yeah. And That's so the crazy. certified specialist of wine would be like a level two on the psalm on the psalm scale. Okay. So um, That's still pretty or low, low, it would be like a three, uh, like a two and a half, three. Yeah. I mean, three, like between them, like a master. There's only like what 130 of those people. Like the level one psalm cor the, the, the course in class was tough. Yeah. But the certified specialist of wine exam was blew that one way out. It was way harder. I can't imagine. Yeah, doing it was that. Tough. I, well, I can and I can't. You know. Like uh, but it's fun. I mean, you're studying. You have to, you have you're to studying. Compartmentalized information. Yeah. It's but like you're studying toilet. wine and beer, so you're getting drunk while you study. Toilet wine is what I'm really good at guessing. Really, mm. right out of a sock, mm. I ferment it myself. Yeah. I put it right inside the bowl, right after a fresh dump. Let that right, really let that simmer. You know. It's Had got, a few drinks today. It's got notes of peanut and uh, ooh corn. Yeah, mm. peanut and corn. I can taste those. Oh, that pe that peanut is from South Africa. You must have been on a trip recently. Um, this rum is amazing, and I'm Thank getting you. fucking housed on it today. Fuck, I'm so glad, man. Yeah. I'm so glad. I used to get housed on it a lot, too, when I was uh, learning how to make it. Now that I make it, I don't so much get sauced on it. Because your so tolerance much. is probably through the roof at this point, right? Yeah, I guess so, and I like, taste it all day long, and uh, you you know, spit, usually when I get home, I really just drink when, a beer and go to bed. When you're tasting, <laughs> when, you're, when you're fucking actually going through the selling yeah. process, you can't drink all of it. No, 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 no. Yeah, I spit a lot. Yeah, I'm a spitter. Well... I'm a spitter. Yeah, spitter and quitter run. I only swallow reason. if it's special. Sure. Yeah, and I, I get that. Yeah. You, tell me about special. Well, it's got to be yeah, meaningful. How special is it's it? It's got to be meaningful. I got to be able to look look into it, and it's just got to spark that. It's, it's an emotion. I don't know. I don't know. It's just, I don't, it happens. I, you when you know it's right, it's right. If you're trying to explain emotions to me, you may as well just skip that. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's got yeah. none. I don't do that. Got yeah. none. Might as well be a fucking robot frozen in steel. <laughs> yeah, so I, when, I, when I got the CSW, I was like, well, maybe I'll just teach wine classes. Because that's really what, what do you do when you have that knowledge? Yeah. yeah. You, you know, you can either teach or do it. And, and then when you start teaching, what, what's the comment? What do people say about teachers? You can't. Do teach. you teach? Yeah. Right, right. And I didn't want to be that guy. So that's when we started this venture of trying to figure out how could we make this happen. And uh, matter of fact, when I was teaching a wine class and there was a lawyer in the class. And uh -huh. when a lawyer and a cop get together, they become instant best friends every time. Yeah. And so he was like, hey, you should come to my law firm and try some of my stuff. So I did. And we became pretty good buddies. And then the three of us, you know, we just we talked about maybe making some 
moonshine mm. in the backyard. Yeah. But being that I was a cop at the time, I thought maybe that was morally and ethically a dilemma. So uh, we gave up on that, but it never stopped. It, like the, the seed was planted in my head. So I just uh, wrote a business plan, pitched it to the lawyer and Lee. And uh, three years, we realized one that it, the distilling permit is the hardest permit in the United States to obtain. Yeah, it's, th- it's two tough. Year, Dude, the, two year process. The liquor laws too in this state are yeah. brutal. And no North bank Carolina. wants to give you a loan, and no, no no investor wants to invest in a two year maybe. So we banged every single nail in this building. We laid every single block with the help of Drinking Bros. And so Lee got deployed like three times in the middle of this, and I was like left home like that wife, you know, the soldier who didn't come home. <laughs> she didn't come home. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so I was stuck here. And I, was, I don't know how to build shit. Like, I can't build anything. And YouTube wasn't helping me at all. Yeah. And so I got on Drinking Bros. And I was like, hey, listen, I'm banging nails today. I've got plenty of beer. If, if you guys will just come and bang nails with me and, and show me how to do this, I will feed you. I will do whatever. And, I mean, I didn't expect it to happen. But Ben Marr showed up. Jimmy Bailey showed up. And then Paul White showed up. I, I can't even – I could just name Cassandra showed up. Just so many people showed up all the time. And it didn't matter what I was doing. I didn't have to worry about help. Like, I knew – one of the dudes are going to be here. Drinking and then bros some of them, they that. live here now. Yeah, like, man. They're here all the time. No yeah. shit. It's beautiful. All so the time. do you own this building? No, the brewery owns the building, Deep River Brewery. Okay. They're in the same building. Uh, they cut us a, a, a really uh, a really fair lease. It's, they're a wonderful partner. And they want to see the town of Clayton grow, so they're just as stoked for us to be here. Because this building was built in 1903. There's not much you could do with it. It's a beautiful space, man, to be honest with you. Um, it's got potential. Why rum? Out of all the liquors you could choose, why rum? He's usually he's a guy's yeah. guy, right? Everybody picks whiskey or yeah. 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 Uh, Because rum is more like wine, and we're girly like that. No, uh, but rum is like, it can only be made from one thing. Like, wine can only be made from a grape. Yeah. Rum can only be made from a sugar cane or sugar cane byproduct. Whereas, like, whiskey and, and other things can be made with, like, corn and wheat and barley. Rum can only be made from sugar. But how do you get a unique flavor out of rum when it's only one ingredient? And, and sugar cane yeah. grows much differently. Yeah, well you could actually grapes, make a right? different rum every day of the week and never make the same rum twice. It's nuts. So you can use different yeast. But, you know, the cool thing is is the fermentation levels. What we do is we, we ferment at a very low alcohol content. I'm, I'm probably boring your listeners. No, we no, not, not at all. talk about this. I, look, this, uh, is, one of those, this yeah. is one of those things that everybody dreams about doing. Yeah. But they never actually do it because it's too fucking hard. Once you start digging yeah, into it, it's, it's like tough. you said. It sucks. When you it's say, really hard. When you say to somebody hey man it's gonna take you two years yeah to open up a fucking liquor company that's pretty much game over for yeah. 99.9% of people that yeah, was tough so we, we ferment very low uh, alcohol so it's not a very efficient rum so if you ferment at a high alcohol content you get more product when you put it in the stills we don't do yield, that right? yeah the yeah. higher yield so we don't we don't believe in that so we ferment very low we try to leave as much flavor in that rum and so if you if you smell our rum a lot of people say it smells like tequila but we don't double the still or anything like that so you I, I smell like a lot of dried apricot dried bananas mm-hmm. and it, but it doesn't ta- it doesn't have so much flavor that it takes away from a traditional cocktail but it gives enough flavor that we can invent our own cocktails like the cocktail that we made for you today i hope yeah. you like it i and i get to name it yeah you do yeah we'd like you to name it because i'm not getting, creative we've been getting rocked off of these all day so we we came here started with penn states in minnesota that's uh dan's alumni and um penn state threw a uh, interception huh. at the goal line they they did not win right 10 seconds left yep they did yeah. not win they, they were lost. undefeated and, and did not win yeah so now that game two weeks from now ohio state penn state really isn't that meaningful anymore I don't think it was it was supposed to be a one three matchup and yeah. then Penn State choked today. Yeah. Um, and they're they're pretty much out at this point. So, yeah, there's no way for them to get. I mean, even if they beat Ohio State, who who plays in the fucking championship? I don't know. At that point. Right? I don't know. I don't even know how they decide that. Is it based on like home away record or the points? Differential or the we'll see. I that one look game, watching I no them idea. play today. I don't think it's going to matter against Ohio State. Ohio State probably. I haven't looked at the score, um, but they probably threw up somewhere in the 50 range. I would imagine just because they're Ohio State. No, I was wrong. They, they put 73 points on the board. Holy shit! Yeah. Against Maryland, 73 to 14. Is that who they're playing? Who are they playing? Maryland. Maryland. Yeah. God damn it, man! Ohio State's good. Um, fucking 73 points. Wow. Um, well, they got to go three more games without their fucking best, well, without the best defensive player in the country. Potentially, yeah. So what, what Dan is referring to is Chase Young just got popped um, for a self-reported violation. Best player in the nation. A lot of people said he could win the Heisman. Mm. Um, and only, I agree, only, depending only upon what, if, well, not anymore. Two, but two defensive he, players in history have won the Heisman. Correct. And one was Taylor was one of them. Charles Woodson? Woodson, yeah. Uh, out, out of, out of uh, Michigan, which I hate to say that, that school name. We got 10-0 LSU, by the way. What was that? 10-0 LSU, by the way. We got a field goal out of those guys. Um, but 
with, with him not there for potentially four games is what they're saying now. I would have said we were fucked, but the way Penn State looked today, maybe not. Maybe we can squeeze through and go to the playoffs and be just Who's fine. their last game against? Uh, Michigan. At Michigan. Like, it's a rivalry game. That's always tough. That's always tough. I wish your, your wife let you watch football because then you could, you could. Yeah, it's not that she doesn't let me watch it, but, yeah. like, you saying we and we, like, she, I can see her over here rolling her eyes. She's like, it's not we. Like, did you go to Michigan State or did you go to Ohio State? It's not we. It's yeah. that team. You know, she, she's very judgmental. She went to college. She went to, two, she went to Florida State and then got her master's at NC State, and I didn't go to college. So every time I try to get into something, she was like, oh, where did, where did you go to college? Where did you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So We I, should bring her yeah, up. Come yeah. on up. You want to? Is, oh, she, is no. she down to come on the show? It's she, good to be supportive. I, this would be amazing. If she does this, this is, is going to blow my oh, world. this is so great. Hold this to oh your my uh, lips. God. To my lips there like we this. Go. To there your lips. There we go. I hold other holding things to my lips, too. <laughs> Holding oh. rods, Mike. She holding. goes, I hold other things to my lips <laughs> no, as well. Stop. We have a fun time. That's what happens no. when you do a show at, at a distillery uh -huh. and you're drinking rum all day. You can say whatever you want. That's Let's right. talk about your criminal record for five or 12 minutes. <laughs> oh. Okay. Okay. So just go down the list. What do you have a criminal record? I once got a speeding ticket. and. That's Come on, about something it? else that's had to have happened, that's right? That's about it. I mean, except for like the eight times you arrested me, Southeast Raleigh. For, oh. yeah. uh, <laughs> really? Well, it's in the bedroom. <laughs> no. oh, okay. I arrested yeah, her. Yeah. It's, a, it's a game we play, right? That's right. We've yeah. got fuzzy handcuffs. You yeah. guys use the cuffs once, right? <laughs> no, least. no. At least, I, yeah. it, would, it would gross me out. I'm not, to be honest with you, like touching those handcuffs is, is like the worst part of my life. Like, I hate arresting people because I have to touch handcuffs. Like I like to tell people to hold on. They were that Let me dirty. glove up. They're they so gross. I've boiled them. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. they're gross. That's what, you know what I do? A uh, couple of women have asked me to, to cuff them over the years, and I, when I bring out flex cuffs, yeah. like zip ties, they're like, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's done right this there. before. I'm like, no, you've already said, and I've yeah. got it on tape, so shut the fuck up. <laughs> I mean, it's, look, uh, I'm, a I'm a gentleman, but. Uh, yeah. and, and a scholar. And a scholar. Well, I am a scholar. <laughs> Once you give me the fucking go ahead, though, it's on. So, oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Once you say red rum, it's over. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you this. Um, for you personally, since you've got uh, a degree mm -hmm. and a master's, according to him, mm -hmm. I'd still like to see the paperwork on that. But uh, <laughs> what, what's it like when your husband comes home and says, hey, I want to start a rum company? What was your first reaction? I think I chuckled. <laughs> did you laugh? <laughs> I did a little bit, yeah. Because Eric's a fantastic guy, and he's done so many wonderful things in his life, but that means we've got lots of ideas all the time that we're working on. You know, He did a wine review website. Did you know that? No, I didn't know that. Yeah, oh it's yeah. still live. Oh okay. Yeah. And yeah. we had like a whole opening for it next door at Deep River. Yeah. He was still a cop. I was actually working too. And uh, after that kind of petered out, this whole distillery started. But it was actually it was like idea. right in the it height. Was like it was like in the height listen, of that. It was like you came home and I said, I met this lawyer and we're going to we're going to make Grappa in his garage. And I said, oh, <laughs> OK, that's a fun <laughs> thing. Yeah. Grappa. Grappa. Yeah. yeah. And that's still the, uh, the original dream. Limit is easier. easier. How long have you guys been married? Right. Eight years. Eight years. In October. Wow. Yeah. And you got three kids? Three, three kids. He, he, said, he told a story about how you used to uh, sit in bed and listen to Ross's oh my God. audio yes. books. Is that true? <laughs> were any of the children created okay. with Ross's voice in the background? Please tell me they were. They had already been created. I'm sorry oh, to rain bad. on that parade. Oh, <laughs> but you could guys, have at least lied to You guys me. had definitely fucked with him on in the background. Right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. 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 So I feel like my <laughs> voice has been in the bedroom, or this one, yeah. that St. James voice. <laughs> the St. James voice has been. Has been in the, in the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so is that hard where you're like, all right, great. How long is this going to take? And he says two years. I said, fine, we're not going to quit jobs or anything. And he didn't. I mean, he's been a cop. No, he got fired. Still just, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's just quit. totally different than quitting. In yeah. July, August, August. Yeah, yeah I got fired in August. It yeah, hasn't I got fired been that long. That's a yeah. fresh wound. Yeah. Wow. That's a fresh wound. Yeah. Um, wow. Um, and, and how's everything going now? Like, are you happy about the transition? I think, I, yeah, I'm, no, I'm definitely happy. He's home a lot more, and he's doing something that he likes to do, and the kids and I can come up and see him all the time, and he's not in like dodging bullets anymore every night. Right. So is it pretty rough around, around these parts? Uh, not around these parts, but in the district he was in in Raleigh, it was pretty rough, yeah. Really? Because there was a, there was a meme so. I saw about Durham. Uh, yeah. Durham, yeah. Durham. Uh, there's a lot of laughs a lot of memes. audience a lot of here. A lot of memes. A lot of memes about Durham. Durham yeah. is, it, is Durham shitty? I don't know. And I don't oh, know terrible. It? Terrible. Really? Raleigh's, wow. Raleigh's getting there, though. It's catching up. Parts of Raleigh. Parts yeah. of Raleigh. It's up. Parts of Raleigh. Yeah, yeah it's Carrie's still nice, right? Why? I don't know. Wilmington's great. I look. There's, it, it, look. Every city, I think there's a part of that city where it's just like, ah, oh, some fucked up shit goes down. 
But I'm from Atlanta originally, oh. so it's just like, eh, yeah, nothing's yeah, going to be worse we, than that. We hang out in those fucked up parts of town, too. I just walk over there and stand there and wait for something to happen because I'm bored. Yeah, <laughs> Dan's <laughs> actually waiting for something to go down. But Dude, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you, like, when I first became a cop, like, I just came out of the military. Yeah. And, you know, we all know, like, we being in the military, you have this, like, you, you kind of think what you think a cop is, is. You know, you have, like, this vision of what a cop is. I imagine it's a And I had that, but I had ever. no idea... That when I when I actually became a cop, I mean it was nuts, man. I, I broke my leg fighting a murder suspect like in the first year, and then like five months after that, I broke my arm and had my tooth cracked by another guy. Jesus I mean, dude, Christ. it was just nuts, and it was like every day was just this crazy. So women pooping on me, uh, you know. <laughs> so I'm gonna stop you right there. Nuts. Um, yeah, ask nuts. Him. Ask him. Did you pay for that? Like, one? Yeah, did you pay for that? Because that's usually that's an extra that's an extra man. charge. Yeah, let me tell you what. You do look a Do you want to hear that story? Can I? Do you want to hear that story? Can I tell a story? Yeah. He told so, me the story. This is listen, this is a good story. This is, yeah. This is, yeah, this is a good story. So my, my first day being a cop, I show up at like 5.45 in the morning. I want to be early, right? Yeah. Trying to be trying to be good, squared away guy. And I walk in and my training officer, who I don't even know, is like, hey, we got a call. Go get in the car. I haven't even had coffee. I haven't had that like dream of being a cop and having that first donut and coffee yeah, it's, it's type a, thing. A like it's like day. you want that. Training day where it's like get in the car. Yeah, yeah. But he was just like, go get in the car. I go outside. I couldn't even figure out which car to get in. We get in the car, and, and now it's 6 Now it's six a.m. Uh-huh. We're driving down the road, Raleigh. I'm not from Raleigh. I don't know where I'm going. He's pointing me in directions. I don't know what the call is. We show up, and he's like, all right, let's go. Go ahead. Take care of it. And I was like, what? Um, okay. So I get out of the car, and there's this young man there, and he was like, officer, uh, like, like I'm a real officer. Yeah. I'm a real cop. He's like, he trusts that I'm a real cop. Sure. But I'm not. Well, you can't tell point. the difference. Right. Like it's so, just a yeah, it's, it's, just, yeah, it's just a uniform, know. right? Yeah. So he's like, my mom is off her meds. She's going nuts. I was like, all right, I'll handle it. So I walk over to the steps, and there's this 400-pound black lady standing at the top of these stairs outside. It's a, it's a patio. And she's got an American flag wrapped around her head like a, like a turban. And she's in a boxing stance. You know what I'm talking about? Like the, oh, yeah. Like I'm ready to fist a well, there, there was another part of it where she removed her teeth. Well, hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah. So I'm, she's standing at the bottom. Of, I'm standing at the bottom of the stairs. I'm looking up at this woman. And she's, she's in this, this fighting stance. And she takes her teeth out and sets her <laughs> teeth down. On the railing of the that's porch. That's how you know somebody means business. That's yeah. like that's like Sylvester Stallone and over yeah, the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like turn it yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, fuck. I've never even heard, I've never hit a woman in my entire life. And this bitch is already taking her teeth out. Like she's had. It's like she's done this before. Like I didn't know what. To, so I'm trying. Like I'm, I'm, I'm like I'm, 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 I'm like trying to like compartmentalize these emotions of uh, maybe I'm gonna have to hit this woman. And I'm like, man, well, can you just come down here and talk to me? So she runs down the stairs, 400 pounds. She runs down the stairs immediately. I'm like, well, no, I'm not stopping that. There's nothing here that's stopping that. Sure. So I move like a matador, dodge it out. She busts through. She goes out onto the front yard. She takes the American flag off her head, and she fluffs it out on the ground, and she lays down on top of it. And she starts twerking this flag. And she's 400 pounds. I'm not exaggerating. Like, huge. Jesus Christ. She's twerking it. And I'm looking at my training officer, and he's just standing there with his hands crossed, and he's just kind of like, you know, give me like the... Karen, continue. Sure. You know what I mean? And so uh, I don't know what to do. So I say, uh, man, uh, she goes, do you like this? And I was like, uh, not, not really. Not really, yeah. Not really. Uh, could you just stand up and talk to me? And so uh, he says, hey, man, w- figure it out. You know, that's what I hear this training officer telling me. Now, is he fucking with you? No, I don't know. Like, like, I don't know. 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 So he's just standing in the back. And so I say, man, can you just stand up and talk to me? She reaches back and she, or she says, are you going to arrest me? And I said, no, ma'am. No, no, no. I just want to talk to you. She reaches back. She grabs her sundress. And she pulls it up over her head. Freeing those boobies for the very first time. I'm not going to finish oh, that. Oh, like two Anne Franks. <laughs> like two Anne Franks. Seeing the world Seeing for the, the very first world. time. For the very first time. Yeah. So she, she, takes the, she takes the dress off. Now she's naked, completely naked, on top of this flag. And she goes, now are you going to arrest me? And I said, I look over at the training officer, and he's stoic. He's not, make, he's not even smiling. He's just staring. So I look down, and I go, uh, you're under arrest? Like a question. Like, I think you're under arrest, yeah. but I've never done this before. And so I said, ma'am, could you stand up? She does like a half burpee. Like she goes from the push-up position to the squat position. Very athletic. Yeah, and I'm like, what a feat of athleticism for this 400-pound woman. She bends over. I'm, I don't know what to She's naked. I look back at the training officer. Still nothing. And then she's grunting, and I see her brown eye open up, and a little turtle head (laughs) start to peer out at me. And as she stops grunting, it sucks back in. And then it pushes out, and then it sucks back in, and I, I don't know what to do. And now, now she's chasing me with it, so I'm dodging. I'm dodging. I'm going in circles, and he's going, "Would you put her in fucking handcuffs?" Yeah. And I'm like, "She's pooping on me." Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know I could cuss, so I'm like, "She's pooping on me." 
At that point, did she, she say it in that yeah, girl voice. Yeah, too? I was like, she's, she's pooping, pooping on, on me. me. Yeah, so she did. She's fucking pooping on me. Stop, stop it. Yeah, she's stop fucking pooping. pooping on me. So she takes off running from me, and he goes, "Go get her." And I mean, he sounded disappointed, like your father, you know, like yeah, like you fucked up. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm embarrassed that you're my kid. Yep. And he's like, go get her. And so I go to chase her. And like coming from the military, like we don't run into houses by yourself in the military, right? Like no, it would never happen. No. Well, this, she goes up the stairs and she's disappeared in the house. So I get like halfway up the stairs. I'm looking back like, do you want me to go in this house by myself? Are you coming? Are you, are you going to help me out? Are you no, and he's doing nothing. So I take like four more steps up. She appears back from the house. She's got a painting of Obama. This is no lie. You can read the report. Okay. She grabs the Obama painting. It's, she's holding it and she smashes it over my head. And she goes, my president's black, motherfucker. And I'm wearing it like a cartoon. I'm wearing a painting of Obama around my neck. I'm sitting there. I have no idea what to do. This SWAT team guy comes barreling past me, blasts her in the face, holds her over this railing. We're like a story up. He goes, you want another one? And she's like, no, nah, I'm good. And he put, he's like, turn around. He, she turns around, she puts handcuffs on him, he pats me on the shoulder and goes, that's how it's done. And the guy walks away. <laughs> and ever since then, every time he sees a 400-pound black woman, he immediately he punches, punches her right, her right in Listen, the Listen, the story doesn't even <laughs> stop there. That's why it doesn't work for the police department. We anymore. get down to the jail. How does it not yeah, stop no, there? No, I'm serious. We get down to the jail. I've never been to jail before, ever. And, and you think in the academy, maybe they would like take you down there and like a field yeah, trip? at least once, nah, right? Never. So we walk through the doors, and I'm like, you know, like looking at you. I'm like, oh, my God, look at this massive... Man, yeah. no, I mean uh, jail. Yeah. And so we walk <laughs> in, and uh, and he's like, "Go over there and type out your affidavit." And I was like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, type out an affidavit, sure." Uh, so I go over to the computer. I have no idea what I'm doing. There's like a state trooper there. I'm like, "Hey, typing out an affidavit." Yeah. And he's like, "Yeah, <laughs> cool." You know, I don't, I, don't know. <laughs> I don't fucking know what I'm doing. Well, so big goal, huh? Yeah. All right, see you yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I get this thing logged in, and I'm you know I'm finger punching this keyboard because you know in the army they teach you how to type really fast. Yeah, yeah, so I'm typing, and uh, the training officer he he come, he gets up and he stands behind me. I'm like, oh, here we go. I'm about to get shamed. Now I, I was I had a pretty great career in the in the army. I did a lot of cool things. What did you do in the army? Yeah, so I well, it's it's a long story too. But I I, I spent time in 20th Special Forces Group mm -hmm. and I deployed tw uh, two tours in Afghanistan. Mm -hmm. And I got a little trouble in the Q course. Uh, yeah, made it through SEER, and then I got in a little bit of trouble. Um, and so I went back to group with no Green Beret, but hey, it was still a lovely f uh, seven years. I really enjoyed it. But anyway, so I went from jumping out of these airplanes and everything. Now I'm a rookie, right? Yeah. And so I'm sitting here finger punching this keyboard, and he's about to shame me. Um, and uh, I, I, there's nothing I can do about it. It's like 6.45 in the morning at this point. Sure. And I hear like a... And um, I look up, and she's standing in butt naked in front of my computer, pooping on the floor with butt naked again. So those, were, those were plopping sounds. Plopping <laughs> patties on the ground. And so I look back at the training officer like, do you see this? Yeah. And he stands behind me. He looks right down at me. I'm sitting down. He's standing up. He looks at me. He goes, you're lucky she didn't throw that at you. And it was in that moment I knew what my training officer was because for him to stand back, he would have let her throw shit at me. Sure. I think he was like fully prepared to be like. Well, you have to learn somehow. Now I don't look. I just type looking straight up. I don't look at the keyboard anymore. How did anymore. she get out of the cuffs? To she was already out of cuffs. At jail, they take you desk. out. They take you out. They, once you get down to jail, they take you out of the cuffs. Ah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. They, yeah. they search you. They take you out of the cuffs. And you have, you're supposed to sit on a bench. But she had gotten up from the bench and I wasn't paying attention. Okay. And she just stood right in front of my computer. And uh, just started pooping. Like, plop, 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 plop. Wild Didn't question here. Go ahead. Who cleans up the shit? Uh, other inmates. So that you, yeah, that's a good lesson, though. Because you imagine, you're like, oh, okay, bitch. You're going to make me clean up your shit. You're yeah, getting your yeah, ass yeah, yeah, when you come to I these stores. Was, yeah. So that never happens again. It's like wow. kangaroo court in baseball. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Which I thought's a brilliant idea from the jail Bad staff. base running mistake, you get fined twenty bucks, sure, or yeah. stabbed yeah. a bunch of times. Yeah, and and that was it, man. That wasn't even like that was day one, and it didn't stop from there. I mean, it just got crazy. And that wasn't even the funniest. That wasn't even the best story. That was just day one, first forty-five minutes of being a cop. Jesus yeah. Christ! Yeah. What do you think about hearing? Have you heard these? You've, uh, you've I had have to heard have. every single story. In fact, I was coaching him on the way here about what stories he should maybe tell, what stories he should maybe yeah, not she, there's tell, a lot what of stories right. he should what save for after. Yeah, tell us one of the stories. He's not supposed to tell. Oh my god! Come on, yeah. was it the olives it's one? It's too fucking late now. The <laughs> olives one. I think the olives one is a good choice. I mean, it's borderline. Well, maybe. How is it borderline? <laughs> and, and what do you do with olives? Uh, well, he'll uh, tell you. Yeah, There's a lot to do away. with olives. We got time? <laughs> It's a, oh, quick this a, a, a quick one. This is a quick one. This is a quick one. This is a quick one. We have all day. We have never ending time here. Actually, me and another drinking bro. God, I wish I could say his name. He, he's the one that got. What's uh, his first name? We share similar first names. 
E E. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Eric? And uh, matter of fact, he was actually training a rookie later on in life that got in trouble for reading your your book. She, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that story I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know. Yeah, that. Yeah, so anyway, yeah, yeah. this guy and I we we get moved to the north side. So we worked in the the south side of Raleigh, which is the bad part. And we got moved to the north side for just nine weeks to see what it was like over there. We get up there, and we didn't take a single call. We went from like twenty five calls a night mm-hmm. to none, bored as hell. And so we're sitting there, and we're. Do you call mind that up. though? In all honesty, like hey, no, man, I didn't. No, it's I, terrible. getting shot. Uh, I don't know. There's just something fun about like I don't know. It's it's like being a Boy Scout, you know, in the in the in the South Side of Raleigh. It's like something new and adventurous. Okay. Every night. Yeah. And you just tie a lot of knots. Like, yeah, uh, get yeah. pooped on. Yes. Yeah. 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 Boy Scout yeah just like Boy Scouts. Yeah. yeah well, because Boy Scouts with the like, knots, seems, the ropes and the knots, and yeah. they just unless you're getting touched as a Boy <laughs> Scout, it seems pretty unexciting, you know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Because if, like, if you are, then it's like, well, I don't know what I'm getting when I go to the tent. Who's going to be there? Is it my, my troop master? Is it just the rest of my buddies? Now, that's crazy. This doesn't seem that crazy. If you're, like, if you're oh, a boy, right. By the way, this is a PSA. If you're a Boy Scout, you walk into your tent, there's a bunch of candles lit. Get the fuck out. Yeah. yeah. Run real fast. Run real fast. Made if there's mistake. Girl Scout cookies crushed up in the middle around the candles, get the fuck out of there. Yep. Oh, uh, otherwise, you'll be eating them bent over. Uh, now, now, your story... Yeah. Was with olives. <laughs> yeah, so so we, we show up to this call, and there's this little female, like my wife's size, maybe a little shorter. She's standing at the end of a driveway. It's like 3 a.m., and we get up there, and we're like, you know, we're both pretty new cops at this point. We've only been cops for nine weeks now. And we get out, and we're like, hey, we're, you know, Officer so-and-so from the Raleigh Police Department. How can we help you tonight, you know? Yeah. And she says, honestly, officers, fuck that motherfucker. I want a goddamn divorce. And we're like, uh, okay, well, we, we, don't do indi- we don't deal with divorces, but maybe we can mediate the situation. Maybe we can help out. Why don't you tell us what happened tonight? She was like, fuck that motherfucker. And we're like, okay. Uh, did you get hit? Did you guys have an argument? She goes, you're not listening. Fuck that motherfucker. I want a goddamn divorce, and I want it right now. By the way, if a woman starts clapping at you, just leave. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. Nothing worse. Mm. You, you know my history. Just leave. Yeah. Just, just leave. So Set he goes, the house on fire. It's like if you find a bunch of spiders in your house, burn it down. <laughs> Move to a new location. Start, start over. Start over completely. Start your whole life over, yeah. So my, my, my buddy, he says, man, hey, you go knock on the door and see if there's a guy there. See if somebody else is here. So, you know, I kind of nonchalantly walk up to the door because we're on the safe side of Raleigh. I knock on the door and a dude like your size opens the door. He's got blonde hair. It looks like he's been crying. I immediately humble up. I'm like, oh, hey, sir, officer Tansy with the Raleigh Police Is he white? Yeah. Okay. And, uh, but he's big. You know? <laughs> so when you say you humble up, you know, it's like, ah, oh, that's a white on white thing where you're yeah. like, ah. Oh, you're white. okay. You're white. I'm white. All right. Cool. Cool. We're good, right? Now, it was so, Wesley Snipes from Demolition. No, I thought yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. This guy. Shows he up said blonde like, hair. Yo. That's why I'm saying that. <laughs> <laughs> it's a weird leap. So this guy says, "I said, hey, sir, what's what's going on tonight? That's so bad that your wife wants a divorce." And he says, "Honestly, officer, this whole thing started over a fight, a goddamn fight." And I said, um, a, a what? And he goes, a fat. He and Dutch, he's crying. He Dutch oven there now. He's he crying. Wants out. So I said, uh, I, I'm, I'm sorry, sir. I don't, I don't know what you're saying. Because I really didn't know what a fat was. Yeah. And so she goes, he fatted in my olives. And I said, he what? And she goes, she blows past me. She goes into the house. She goes, he came in here. He grabbed me. She grabs a jar of olives. She goes, he popped the jar of this olives. He stuck it up to his goddamn asshole. And he fucking fought it in my olives. Inside the jar. Yeah, inside the jar. <laughs> inside the olive yeah, jar. Yeah, the olive jar. She stuck it up to his bowl and just <laughs> boofed right in it. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> did he put the lid That's back on? a weird on? flex. Yeah, right? yeah, did he put the lid back on and yeah, seal it? Did he seal that yeah, up? Yeah, I guess. Maintain the freshness of the olives and the fart at that Yeah. Point. You're, so, you're trying to conceal. Oh, because I can smell that. It's very <laughs> distinct. Yeah, smells. yeah, I can taste it. Olive juice, yeah, yeah, yeah and then the, mixed with. You that. guys want martinis after this? Yeah, yeah. all right, yeah. Extra <laughs> dirty, <laughs> extra dirty martini. Extra yeah. dirty martini after Ugh. this. I think you got to. You're, you're missing an opportunity to say fartini right now. And oh. oh, there it is. I'm usually not a pun guy, but you guys yeah. there got it. it. Is. So on. I said, sir, did you did you fart in this young lady's olives? And he's just, <laughs> yeah. He would give me this issue. He's like, yeah, that sick fucking bastard. Was what was the idea. reason behind it? I don't know. A, I never figured that out. I never figured that out. You can fart stuff all Boy, you want. You can't stop me. I'm going to be real. If, I, if that would have happened to me and I stopped it, I would have made him sat and tell the story. I think the that's, problem was, yeah. That's not something you just go to right away. Gosh, man, that is savage. There had to be some uh, graduation of force there, right? I don't know. I, I never figured. I didn't really. I mean, no. Or I, she I, was a martini girl, and it was just like he knew like how to really get her. Like, hey. You know what? <laughs> Fuck her. Fuck your I martini. know she's going to make a drink tonight. Yeah. I'm going to fart in her olives, yeah. seal it back up in front of her <laughs> yeah, face. Yeah, was he trying to, well, that's, was he trying to do it on the sly or she watched him do it? 
I mean, according to her, because, you know, she said he walked right over here, he grabbed the thing, stuck it up to his goddamn asshole, and he fucking fought it in my eye. It sounds like he just fucking right in front of her, man. Oh, that's a very, very. Just like, oh, very you want these pointed. olives? You want me to get the olives? Here's your fucking olives. Yeah. <laughs> it's a very pointed and vindictive thing. If you're going to fucking fart in a, in a jar of olives and seal it up, that's, that's saying, hey, man, whenever I, you piss I know how to me get off, to you. Whenever you piss me off, yeah. I put my dick on the lid of all your White Claws. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> like, every single time. <laughs> Nothing will piss me off more than if there's a dick <laughs> all over the lid of my White Claws. You have to make sure your dick's nice and warm so it leaves, like, uh, condensation on the outside of it. Oh, God. Uh, 17-7 LSU, by the way. Super fucking amped about that. You, uh, by the way, so we didn't know what we were getting into. You have the mm. best stories of all time here. I, yeah, this, we haven't even touched the surface, brother. We, we haven't even, we, touched, we haven't the even touched the surface. surface. Somebody nah, gets fucking nuts. Yeah, uh, a black, a four hundred pound black yeah. woman took a shit on you. Yeah. Uh, and then in front of your desk. Well, right? near. Yeah. Well, near. 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 And by the way, when she was, you said she was chasing you around trying to shit on you. She, she, she was backing up that yeah, whole she time. She was just bent up, and she was just. We were kind of going in circles. Yeah. You know. And was and there a uh, beeping noise? You know, I was like, because wanna, she was moving. In I was doing the. Nope. You know. All right. Uh, Wait, do you want one more? I've got one more that'll blow your world. Fuck yeah, yeah I, do. I just took me? another. I took another sip of rum, and my wife's looking at me like, "That's enough." Is he okay to tell? That the is stories? enough. I don't know what. How old are your kids? Thinking of they're uh, six, five, and two. Right, but they so just got done playing. Like they listening. were fighting with their penises not too long ago. Oh Sword God, fighting yeah. with their yeah. with their penises. That's a normal thing. Wait, was ago. it the two year old? Well, yeah, that's normal. But they were jousting, so they were backing up and then ah. slamming into each other. Well, I used to slam mine in the refrigerator door all the time. So it's not a big deal. That, just to feel alive again, yeah. I would do that. Yeah, uh, no need other than that. But I didn't ask any for any judgment from any of you assholes. Yeah, yeah. shut the fuck up. Out There's here. a lady with a dog who's judging people right yeah. now. The dog's <laughs> doing judging tricks. the dog, man. Yeah, we know where that dog's been late at night. Are you married? <laughs> not anymore. You're goddamn right. There's a jar. Uh, there's a half jar of peanut butter at your house. We know exactly where that dog's been. <laughs> I want to hear another one of these crazy stories. All right, one more. I get, well, it's Frost Patterson. I'll tell you as many as you want. Yeah, fuck yeah, we're Fine. here, dude. Yeah, we're, yeah. You, you were kind enough to have us today. Yeah. We're getting fucked up. Uh, Fire away. Dude. This, this one. Awesome. This one is going to embarrass. This one's going to get me. I'm, I'm going to be barred from my my group of police friends for this one. But by um, the way, we ha- we, we may have to cut her mic if she starts interjecting. So just be ready for that. She's going to interject on this one. She knows is what's this coming. This one bad. How bad is it? I'm not. I don't know which one he's going to tell. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't Gotta know. Keep I'm, I'm yeah, there pretty you go. nervous. Keep her guessing. <laughs> so uh, we were at Chick Fil A at nine o'clock at night. Okay. Eating. Eat, that's the only place we can eat is Chick Fil A. So we we ate there almost every night. Uh, real real quick then, because we've had this discussion. Better spicy chicken sandwich, Chick Fil A or Popeyes? I've never had a Popeyes. Spicy I haven't chicken. either. And, and we. I, I'm going to be honest with you. Working where I've worked, I'm not going to Popeyes. That's it's why, gross. That's what I always felt too. Chick Fil A is so clean. I mean, I it doesn't know. matter. You can go to a Chick Fil A anywhere, and it's Fucking beautiful. Clean, yeah, yeah. 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 The best. Uh, Popeyes, the only experience I've had there. It was like I watched a manager rage because they got like a 99 rating. Oh and yeah, just, at Chick-fil-A. He was nuts, man. Yeah. He was just he was so mad. I yeah. like all these new stories everybody's telling about how awesome Chick Fil A is. I want to make some fake commercials for them. Where it's just like weird shit that people are doing. Like oh, I, sh- I showed up to Chick Fil A, my baby was hungry. She breastfed my baby for six hours. Yeah, because yeah. they're like doing <laughs> TV commercials now. But oh, I changed my car tire. Yep, they're like, doing God's just, work at Chick Fil A. Just relax. Yeah. Just yeah. relax. You know they're changing the. Uh, they have a Bible verse on the inside of the rim on the bottom of the cups, Whoa. and they're changing that. Now. I didn't know that actually. Oh yeah, Nuts. they're changing it now to say Epstein didn't kill himself. <laughs> <laughs> So you heard it here first. <laughs> those, those homeschool kids in their comedy. Yeah. Oh, I know. God. I know. So what happened? <laughs> so uh, so we get a call, and uh, there's shots fired uh, in multiple locations. It, it's, you know, it's gang stuff. So who cares? Yeah, I mean, they're all shooting mm-hmm. each other all the time. And so we're not going to leave Chick-fil-A for that. Uh, there's some other cop that can handle it. Obviously. And so we're all sitting at the table, and one officer's like, hey, uh, I just heard like 100 shots, and they're like really close to my car. I'm like, Meh. okay, well, we get to drive fast, so we'll go. So we drive super fast, screaming down the road. And lo- they, when I get there, I'm like last because I don't drive fast. We get there, and I'm the last one guy there. And there's a dude, butt naked, walking a big black guy, about your size again, yep. uh, walking down the road. And they're like trying to corral this guy. So I go by him in my cop car, and I pull over, and I get out. And uh, I'm in the back of the crowd. Okay. And this guy's just, he's bleeding everywhere, like about to be dead soon, bleeding. And Out naked? of his chest and naked. Okay. I was Blood's flowing off his penis like a waterfall. How, how big was that thing? Huge. Really? Like a, like a fucking hammer. God oh. damn. Good yes. for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good yeah. for him. Yeah. Oh, now your wife's drinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She knows now your wife just leaned over and grabbed so, a drink. Yeah. yeah. So uh, he's just standing and he's just bleeding. They're all like, sir, you're going to be dead soon. You need to like lay down and stop, you know. Well, as they're, they're going through all this chaos, he looks through the crowd and he sees me. 
this happens, this happened before, but not with this particular guy. And everybody looks back at me, and I look back, there's nobody else. And he's like, you, come here, Beyonce. And I look back, and I'm like, uh, I'm not, okay. I'm not Beyonce. What? And he's like, no, 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 come here, Beyonce. So they move, they part like the fucking Red Sea and let this guy just have me. Yeah, like they're your fucking like, ah, Katniss on, there Everdeen. He is. There's, there's <laughs> and you just volunteer this <laughs> yeah. tribute. Yeah, Holy they're just shit. like, here, <laughs> they take him. And so the guy starts walking towards me. He's like, come here, Beyonce. And I'm like, no, no, no. And I'm walking backwards. I'm like, no, 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 no. I'm not Beyonce, man. I'm not Beyonce. He's like, come here. I've got no shame. I turn around and start to jog. And it, you know like when you're trying to run from a dog? Like when you were a kid and you saw a dog, but you know that you shouldn't run from the dog because it's only going to make him go faster. faster. Yeah. But you get to that point as a child that you're like panicking. You're like, nah, fuck it. I'm, I'm going to outrun this dog. And you just go. That's what I did. Like I was like, no, don't run, don't run. No, fuck it, I'm, I'm gone. Yeah. So I run as fast as I can. And I turn around thinking there's no way he's chasing me. I look back and there he is just this fucking dick just jumping like a hammer, yeah. chasing me. We're at four, New Bern Avenue is four lanes. I ran. I, I ran all four lanes, did a big looping circle. It was like Sandlot. They were like, bring him back this way. Yeah. I'm running. I'm running as fast as my little legs can go. But, you know, he's a black guy with a huge dick, and he's naked. He's got no weight. He's genetically built for this kind of thing. Yeah, he's going to He's going to catch He's you. going to catch me. Yeah. So I'm running. I'm like, I can't. This, this guy is, I, this bloody penis is going to be all over me. So I, I make a looping circle. I make it back to the group, and they kind of do the, the Sandlot thing where they kind of corral him. And I'm, you know, I'm at a bathroom. I'm like, oh, my God. And so one of the SWAT guys, again, you know, the SWAT guys, they got to show up there. They're always there. And he's like, fuck this. He dives into, like, double leg, take down this guy, right? Judo style or whatever. Sweeps in, locks the legs. The dude sprawls, doesn't go anywhere. Now this bloody hammer is smearing all over this cop's face. <laughs> oh, Just no. Cracking blood, no. bloody dick all no. over, yeah, all over his forehead. Just, yeah, yeah. Uh. Mm -hmm. What do you do in that stitch? We actually had to hold him up. We couldn't get him on the ground. No, I, I mean, I kicked him as hard as I could in the knees. Wouldn't work. Yeah. We held him up, and uh, one of the EMS workers gave him, like, seven hits of Haldol, like, right in the leg. Like, it, it was it was so surreal because we were holding him, and he looked like Jesus. We, like, we like had his arms out, so it was like he was on a cross sure, or something. Yeah, yeah. And it's, like, right in the middle of the four-lane highway at, like, 930 at night. Cars are just passing by, and, and there's another guy stabbing him in the leg with needles so these you know. so he had been shot a bunch of times by somebody else no actually else? we thought he had been shot a bunch of times no what had happened well, what had happened what happened was, was uh, yeah, what had happened was what happened was yeah my wife will correct me every time on this but uh he i guess was amped up because all the police were around and mm -hmm. so he was already on pcp and he yeah. had found some broken glass and he was just poking holes in himself as and one would what, do. Uh, yeah. As one yeah. would that's do. So that's where all the blood They were pretty bleeding. superficial. Fine. They were very superficial wounds, but there was just yeah. so much blood that we, you know, could only assume that he'd been shot the dick several times. So. Had anything to do about the shock? I mean, like if you see a hammer that big with blood, yeah, on it, I would you. think. I, I, yeah, he wasn't gonna pass out for the blood loss. It's like if he would have gotten a boner, that would have been it, because all that blood would have just gone right mm. there, and he would have been. Roman out. ED, by the we way, should have him a boner. One of our sponsors, yeah. Since we're just gonna roll roll through this show all the way, <laughs> talking about Roman ED erectile dysfunction pills. They're one of our sponsors. GetRoman.com forward slash Drinking Bros. Um, if you you're running throw, from you police, throw down with yeah. a boner pill with your lady. I have not. You got to go recreational with those things. Yeah, you, you do. Mm -hmm. You do. She, you, you don't. You don't look like you have a problem getting it up. No. No. no, no. Let's Recreational is where you got to pop them in and keep that going. Yeah. You know? okay. And I Just also for a fun weekend, a staycation. It's yeah. a to me, it's a two pill weekend. So it's uh, it's it's the Dan goes look, on a Friday no, afternoon. No, 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 no. Let me finish. Yeah. And you calm the fuck down. Yeah. So it's Roman <laughs> for me on the Friday, uh -huh. and then on the Sunday, doggy style, I pop the Plan B in her butthole without her knowing. She just thinks that it's <laughs> part of the whole thing, yep. and the Plan B is in there, and she never knows, right? She never so knows. I, the only thing you could really get in trouble for is practicing medicine without a license. Yes. That is true. But that's a misdemeanor, so I'm good, brother. Exactly. And a doctor's coat also doubles as a lab coat. So you don't know that if he's a doctor or someone else. Yeah. So a white coat's a white coat. White coat's a white Either coat. Either way, <laughs> if you want to fuck recreationally or you actually need it, go to GetRoman.com forward slash Drinking Bros. Free doctor's visit, free shipping. Discreet package right to your house. Uh, you can pop them in. Your kids won't know. Your kids won't know. You've got three kids. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the most unenthusiastic. <laughs> that's good. That's real good. That I've ever <laughs> <laughs> that's good. Oh, that's real good, Ross. Yeah. You just looked at me like, man, this is the worst decision I've ever made was to come on this fucking show. She knows what's coming tonight now. She knows. She knows that, like, that doctor's visit can't come soon enough. I don't care if it's discreet or not. <laughs> it's a real discreet packaging. You get shipped to your house. 
wife, kids, no one will know until they know. <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny? It, it w- uh, to me, it would be funnier if it was really indiscreet packaging. It just like it's a, a hologram. <laughs> it's a hologram of the front, and if you t- tilt it this way, it's a, a like a, a flaccid dick, and this way, it's like a huge <laughs> razor. <laughs> that would be way funnier to me. Like, oh, what's that package you got there, Greg? Oh, it's oh, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> or was a pop-up box like a dick just popped up as soon as you open the package? You're like, hey, Boner pills are here. It starts playing an alarm. My, ki- my kids start sword fighting. With it sounds like a car alarm. Yeah. Imagine going off. Duke finding that. That'd be incredible. Uh, yeah, amazing. Uh, next up, we got ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. You guys have a ghost bed? Sorry? <laughs> <laughs> She's completely checked out. She's, uh, She's like, reevaluating her entire life. She's like, the fuck right off now. of this show. What have you gotten me into? <laughs> Sorry, can't get out of here fast enough. Ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros is the, the premier mattress. Of uh, everybody in America right now, mm. hopefully the LSU Tigers, who are up 16 to seven, they, mu- they missed an extra point. Oof. Uh, their 36 month pay as you go program is the best in the biz. Comes out to about 38 bucks a month. Also, if you're a first responder mm. or military, which you're both, what, what if I what if I got fired Better from being a first responder? Better yeah, you still, get the discount. You can still, uh, still uh, use uh, discount. 15 uh, percent off everything if you're a regular human like myself. Uh, they got amazing fucking Black Friday deals. Nailed it. Uh, you got a Black Friday. Your partner got a Black Friday deal right to the face. Um, go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros today and get yourself a mattress. Last but not least, Anthony, who do we got? BlackRifleCoffee.com. You betcha. You're wearing a shirt. That's yeah. their new one right there. It's one of them, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's a bean grenade on the front. I'm yeah. wearing their, their traditional tradish hoodie. Uh, I've had this thing for years. Literally the most comfortable sweatshirt. They also make... Besides fine apparel, they make the finest coffee in the world. Uh, go to BlackRifleCoffee.com right now. Promo code DRINKINGBROS20 gets 20% off. And uh, they're doing some big things. Their email today was really fucking funny. It said Epstein didn't, didn't yeah. do it. Got, cause they, this, actually, this is going live. Since this is going live immediately on a Saturday. We've never done this yeah. before. Um, they're doing a Veterans Day sale right now. So their big deal this time of year, uh, we started this a couple of years ago, but it's always buy back, give a back. So for every bag of coffee you buy, they give a, they send it back to the police troops, basically. It's amazing. Yeah. It's amazing. Um, yes. Yeah, so go to BlackRifleCoffee.com today. Again, promo code DRINKINGBROS20. If you wouldn't mind, I'm going to bring in Dan's brother right now. Come on up. Come on up, brother. Yes. Come on <laughs> up. He is a diehard Clemson fan. We are doing the show right outside of the NC State game uh, against Clemson. This is your favorite. I told Dan... I was like, hey, you should call your brother because we were going to, to cover this game for, for Drinking Bros Sports. Yeah, we decided like mid last week. We're just, hey, let's just go up there. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're, and I said, bring your brother. And he, and he goes, why? And I go, well, he's a diehard Clemson fan. And, he went to, and he's like, oh, yeah, man, maybe I'll give him a call. Maybe I'll give him a call. Welcome. Tell everybody your name. Josh yeah, Holloway. Is. Josh, hold it. Hold it. There we go. Yeah. Josh Holloway. Cut those balls. Here's the hilarious thing. Josh is the nicest dude on the planet. The exact opposite of Dan. I'm not a dick. I just don't give a shit. That's it, not the same thing. It's true. Um, but you've got a fine stash, Josh. Well, thank mm-hmm. you. It is Movember. It is Movember. Yeah. I, and I, I don't... I've, look, we've partied n- numerous times, I would say. Last time I saw you didn't have a mustache and freaked me the fuck out. That's because the first time it was end of October, I was preparing for Movember. Here's the deal, though. When you have somebody who, who wears a mustache that well, I, you don't need to not wear it anymore. Like, Can I, you, you imagine? Agree, right? <laughs> well, I mean... I, I cut it last year in December just to kind of give the face a, a rest. A rest. Yeah. I, I didn't start it quite as early as I did last year. Mm-hmm. So I figured I'm thinking I'm going with full Sam Elliott this year. Oh, I was going to say, whenever I see Sam Elliott without a mustache, it's jarring to me. I don't like it. It's like, it's weird, man. It's like Richard Simmons without a dick in his mouth. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's very rare. <laughs> very rare. <laughs> Um, no, but with Sam Elliott, you know that he's either forced to do it for a movie because he, oh, yeah, he yeah. enjoys a mustache in real life. Well, he, I mean, if you look that good in something, you enjoy it. You I have think. to. I mean, I'd ride it. Yeah, yeah, yeah you would ride it. Um, you ever go reverse uh, anal 69 with another dude? No. A reverse no, 69 should. is when two dudes eat each other's asses at the same time. Correct. Oh. So you kind of have to be going in a circle. Yeah. No, very north and south. Yeah. Very north and south. Some out of the box thinking. Man. Yeah. We always do it here. Always out of the box on this show. So, so let me ask you here. Uh, this, this is the other big game of the night, Clemson. Um, they have not looked great this year. I mean, we had one close game by one point, and then our average margin of victory is 34 points. So it's not like they look bad. 
Trevor Lawrence has looked like Trevor Burbick at times, he where he looks picks early in the year, like he's been knocked out once or twice. At the end, looks like fucking crazy though. Yeah, he's he's, like he's, said, he's rushing for 120 yards a game right now. It's he's breaking records. I mean, the thing about it is, is Trevor Lawrence came out and played like a fifth year senior last year. Uh huh. So I don't think he necessarily played bad this year. I just don't think he played as good as last year. So everybody started rending their shirt and crying in the streets. Yeah, I mean, and he's not going to lose a game for you. How pissed off are you as a fan? Because I know you're a diehard Clemson fan. How pissed off are you as a fan that they're number five when the college football rankings came out? Look, Penn State, his alma mater, already lost today. Yeah, so, so they're already back in the, in the top CFP, four. Yeah. One of these teams is going to lose LSU or Alabama, so you're going to go up to three. Um, how pissed off are you at five? I mean, we actually thought it was kind of funny. Really? Yeah, because I mean, it doesn't really matter. We, the, the the teams in the top four we've beat within the last five years. I so imagine it. I imagine it's like when uh, the last couple of years when Golden State and the power rankings would drop down to like three or four. They're like, all right, cool, whatever. Yeah, but it's one of those things where you are the defending national champions, well, and, and you housed Alabama. That that game was not closed. Dan and and Notre Dame too. By the way, yeah. the reason their program is where it is now is because they run it different than a lot of other people. I mean, they average playing 85 kids a game for the first six games. That means everybody's going to play. Talking to the microphone. Everybody's yeah. going to play. So, you know, you really don't see what they've got until game seven or eight. Mm-hmm. And things really start to tighten up, and they start getting ready for That's what happened time. last year. But I mean, it's almost like a Belichick-style coaching yeah. where they, they try to hide shit. Well, we'll see if it works this year or not because that – they lost three fucking defensive players that were in the first round of the draft. They you, did. It's hard to come back from that shit. They yeah. expected to lose those guys last year, so they replaced them with five stars two years ago. Mm. And it's the, and the, the Clemson mentality right now is next man up. Is anybody on that team can go down? Even Trevor Lawrence. I mean, Chase Bryce was still a four-star prospect. He's not going to lose a game for you. Right. So there's an, even without the passing game, there's enough offense – to get this team through, and that, that ETN kid is really fucking he's good a too. He yeah. might be the best running back in college football, to yeah. be honest. He's great because uh, he, they had, don't they yeah. don't really use him. I, I wouldn't say they use him sparingly, but they don't like ride him like uh, like uh, like genuine. love and like love and Taylor the last couple of years. Like those teams tried to ride their running backs. They right. don't really do that that much. No, and, and, and I they have, think they have two running backs. I too, think right? he's going to be an excellent pro um, tonight. Though, I look since this show is going up live here in about fifteen minutes. Um, it'll be plenty of time for the audience to listen to it before it. 34 points is the spread. I, t- I, took, I took NC State with the points. It is their homecoming game. It is at NC State. You told me off air, you were like, they're going to fucking beat that spread. I mean, it's, if it had been last week, I would have felt the same way. But with the slap in the face, that's what Debo loves playing that. Debo loves playing the underdog. Mm-hmm. So he's been telling them in the in the locker room all oh, week. They're talking shit about you. They don't think you're any good. Yeah. What you gonna do about it? So we'll see. I mean, I've, I mean, I, I am an alumni and a fan. So I, I mean, I always feel like they're gonna go out and do well. But I think they could be embarrassing today. It's thirty-four and a half now. By the way, is it really? So yeah. everybody's betting on Clemson. Yep. Fuck me. I, look, I'll I'll tell you the dirty <laughs> secret here since I've had a few drinks here. We're at Instill Distilling Co. I always tell the audience, never bet on a spread that big because it's too many fucking points, right? Obviously, I'm a fucking homer for Ohio State. The spread was 44 and a half today. What, what was the final score? 73 I, to thing, something? I did put 200 bucks on the fucking game. Uh, we, we, we won by 50, 49 points today, so we did cover. We talked about this earlier. That's we not did. the biggest spread that I'm we have to cover this year. Sorry, we won by 59 points. Apologize for that horrible math, <laughs> but your rum is really starting to kick in right now. Um, <laughs> He's not allowed to talk right now because his wife will get mad and start shit talking him. By the way, me? Uh, no, him. Oh yeah. Anytime, I know. anytime there's college football to be talked about, I like her. What, what's so now since she's off camera, she can't say anything. <laughs> Who would you have picked? Who would have been your college team to root for? Oh, I can't say it. Why? Oh, oh she'd be so. It mad. would have been Florida. No, because she'd be mad. Yeah, it'd have been Florida Gators. Yeah. And she graduated from oh, Florida State, so shit. she's a Seminole man. Florida State just fired their coach last week, mid-season. They're talking about Deion Sanders is in the talk to be the next head coach. Yeah, they're talking about Deion Sanders as the head coach. Here's the thing. I will tell you, that would be a disaster. No one loves Deion Sanders in this world more than I do. I want him to dress like he did when he was a televangelist for a while. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) The white pimp hat. Yeah. Could you imagine? With a feather in that shit. Can you imagine? That would be the fucking best. You think Cam Newton Uh. takes any any notes from that dress? Darkwing duck? (laughs) Yeah, who knows, man. Cam Newton's an asshole, man. Yeah, he's Uh, out of there. You you can do certain things when you're really good. Like, Joe Namath could do whatever the fuck he wanted to. Because he was Joe Namath. Exactly. But you can't go out dressing like you're from 2045 and... <laughs> not play good. <laughs> you, know, you got to time travel. Like, you got to time travel if you're going to be that yeah. Yeah. that fucking arrogant. Yeah. Um, no, so I, look, I, I, I'm amped about it. What's your final prediction on Clemson for the year? Then 
Do you think they repeat as, as national champions? I, I don't know, man. It's, it's to my, my heart says yes. There's some really good teams out there. I mean, I the LSU's a monster. I think people have underestimated Anyone them else? all year. Anyone else who scored 73 points today? I mean, or? you know, Penn State looked good until tonight. But not, not talking about them. Um, Anybody who scored 73 points today by any chance? Oh, Ohio State's okay. There it is. Yeah, ah, there it is. Yeah, Buckeyes. No, I, I, I got a friend of mine, a Georgia grad, a diehard fan, and he's been bitching since they didn't start Justin Fields last year that they threw him away. You know, I don't think Georgia's season's over, though, man. I, and I said this to Dan uh, last week. Because they're in that weak side of the fucking SEC. Man. Correct. And you've got to win it. In. We had, you got to win it. Yeah, you got to win it all. And, and I said when we did that Fight Club game of the week, it was Georgia versus Florida. And I said, I think Georgia's pissed off enough, and they see their path. So if you just win, you'll go to the SEC championship, yeah. which they did. So I think they're going to face probably the winner of this LSU-Alabama well, game. the thing about that is, too, all right, you play out. LSU beats Alabama. Alabama oh. wins out. LSU has to go to the SEC championship, correct? But they lose. Yes. So then you have three one-loss teams in the SEC. Yep. LSU what makes do you, it. What do you do? LSU makes it because they have the head-to-head matchup on Alabama. But okay, so, the, uh, so sure. But who is the team you're leaving out? Because but if Alabama, which is where they're going to go, because they're on their, you know, it's the fine bomb effect. Yeah. Is yeah. That, uh, Alabama is a one-loss team. It's going to get into the playoffs. I would period. say honestly, so it, somebody gets screwed. This, this one normally I would have said Clemson, but they're the fucking reigning champion, so I don't know if they could pull that shit off. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, yeah, you're not it wouldn't be Ohio rid of State. Well, the, the only reason I say that is because of the rating champion. If they weren't because of their weak ass schedule, I think they would be the one to go. I would still rather see a one loss Oklahoma than a second SEC team in the playoff this year, just because Ooh. of the potential for offense that they have. Yeah, I, it depends on how Oklahoma finishes out the season because I'm not convinced, and neither are you, that they can win out the rest of the year. I no. think there's, there might be one more loss yeah. for Oklahoma. We'll see. I really we'll do. Where's the others? Yeah, I think Georgia could win out. I think uh, they could win out. There's no fucking LSU, way. LSU, and I think Alabama could, could win out. I think out. I think Georgia could beat Alabama. I don't think there's any chance it could beat LSU. Honestly, I don't think. No, I don't either. But we'll, we'll find out. Yeah, and that's why we play the games. When's the last Clemson game you went to? Oh, I haven't been since last year. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Dude, we got good tickets for you tonight, my man. I got a chubby. Yeah, yeah, you'll be right behind the Clemson bench, dude. We'll be able to see sunshine. Look all, at all, all those dudes' butts. Sunshine. Yeah. Uh, what do you think, of, uh, Dan, since this game just ended here live inside the bar, what, what happens to Penn State now, now that they lost to Minnesota? Um, they'll probably go down to like eight, would be my guess, and they have no shot of getting back in because there's no path. Like they're, Again, they're not in a I, – I don't like the, the split division conference model. I don't model. either. I, I want to see the top two teams play Same. each other. Like I don't give – if you want to do it – if you want to do it like that, like in the NBA, for example – there's three divisions in each conference, mm -hmm. but the top eight teams play in a round robin tournament, basically. You know, like one eight, fucking two seven, shit like that. Yeah, I would rather see that than fucking Georgia playing LSU when LSU and Alabama are in the same division. Right. Or I would rather see Penn State Ohio State matchup again than whoever the fuck else. They're like Iowa, which sure. is who they're probably gonna play. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I think no, Minnesota's on that side now. Uh, so Minnesota, it'll well, be Minnesota. Oddly enough, then. like. Look, before the season started, there's not one prayer in this, this earth I would have said Minnesota because no. Wisconsin's over there. Um, yeah, well. But it looked like it, it could be Ohio State versus Minnesota in that Big Ten championship, which is weird, man. Yeah, and if what do you do if Minnesota win? I know it's far-fetched, but what do you do if they win that game? Are they in the CFP at that They're point? They're undefeated. If, if they finish the, Cause they the beat year undefeated. Number four, Penn State. Correct. They beat number one, Ohio State. You have to put them in. They would go, yes. Because the right now they're 17. on the SEC, though. You don't think that they would take a one-loss Alabama team over an undefeated Minnesota. Not a Minnesota Alabama team that beat Ohio State and Penn State. There's no fucking way. Yeah, I, no I think way. so. I think they get in, and then you gotta you got to kick out one of those teams. Yeah. So we'll see. Um, anyways, uh, look, we're unbelievably grateful, Eric, that you had us in here tonight. Yes, yeah, dope. Hey, wait, can I just give one quick shout-out? You're, like you're going to get gonna the gonna Drinking give, Bro of the Week. You're going to give so. more than a shout-out. So we're going to give you the Drinking Bro of the Week. Oh, um, oh goodness gracious. So Drinking Bro of the Week, as you know. Speaking of uh, drinks. Somebody who has helped you. All through this journey, through Man, life. I, I got to um, go with Jimmy Bailey. Um, make you the person you are today. Yeah, Not your wife, who just put a drink up here. Right. Yeah. No, I, 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 my, okay, wife, my wife. Totally my wife. would. My wife. Jimmy has done more for, for me and my wife. I think we could all be thankful. He does all of our design work. And I thought you were going to so say humble. Jimmy's done more for me than my wife ever has. <laughs> Jimmy fucked me away. So yeah, my wife has never fucked me. Sucked. Cuckold. Yeah. Yeah. Cuckold. Oh, oh, you went the cuckold route, and we weren't even hinting about that. Uh, oh, it's the rum. It's we kicking were in. Ready to roll. Yeah, right. like prolapsed asshole. Yeah. 
That's again from the last uh, episode. Jimmy Bailey's a drinking bro. Yeah, he's a drinking bro, a selfless servant. Gosh, I mean, he, the most selfless servant in all the drinking bros. I don't think there's one call to action that he hasn't responded to. I mean, he will go the distance for And he's one of the guys that helped bro. build this place? Yeah, he was in here all the time. He does a little bit of everything. Where is he at today? Uh, his wife has uh, cystic fibrosis. She's a double lung uh, transplant recipient. And uh, she's starting shit. to go into rejections after nine years. So he was so, so upset that he couldn't be here today, but he really can't leave her side. She's, she's in real bad shape right now. So I don't think I've ever heard uh, of a double lung transplant. Dude, she's amazing. She still does CrossFit with two, two lungs that aren't even hers. Fucking Terminator. Yeah. Uh, but she's, she's, she's a wonderful human being. But Jimmy really is. I mean, seriously, he's, he's, he's one of the, uh, the... He's done a lot for the Drinking Bros. He's uh, shot ads from him. I know um, Vincent Vargas, or Vincent Rocco, he's done lots of things for him, designed a lot of the beer.com stuff for him. That's and great. Stuff. And I don't think he, you know, he did it all for free. You know, he, he did it all, just gave it out. So, I mean, he's just a selfless servant. You could ask him to do anything, and he'll just do it. He'll, he'll never say no. So I, I have to. I have to say. And it takes a lot of the work off my wife, because if he doesn't do it, she has to. Again, yeah. I, there's too many things that I want to say right now. Uh, that's what sexual she said. shit that you're doing. Exactly. Right now, with exactly. Exactly. Who else did you want to give a shout well, out to? Well, uh, Stu from the Clayton Bootleggers rugby team just came in. He's one of the best rugby players Stu. straight from Ireland. They just got done playing in Scotland not did too you long win, ago. Stu? What was the score? Can you take the Irish out of your ex- out of your mouth? We can't understand you. Yeah. Speak American? Oh, 50 something, 30 something. Oh, 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 oh. No, did Tommy O'Malley score the game winning score? But they played the He's they played a, a lot of drinking bros. They played Fort Bragg. Oh, really? And like half their team is drinking bros and all really want to want to be here. So I think they'll probably start trickling in here soon. Because you you guys are uh, huge rugby guys. Yeah, it's a big rugby town. There's a bunch of meatheads yeah. at Fort Bragg that play rugby too. A shitload yeah, yeah, of them there. Yeah. We used to I used to uh, like we had a uh, just a for fun team there, and we would play against those guys and they would just crush the fuck out of us. Was, it, was your team name called Getting Handsy? Yes. Mm. We're getting we, our, we, we would sit in a circle when everybody was doing the scrum and we just did jazz hands and they would kick the shit out of us. I don't know why. <laughs> like, I didn't know the fucking rules. I was out there for exercise. It's my favorite game of the year. When I, I love playing Fort Bragg. Um, I missed it today, but I, th- this was totally worth missing that. But it is my favorite game of the year is playing Fort Bragg. I, it's nothing why? like Why? Uh, just the camaraderie. They're very friendly, but very violent at the yeah. same time. And so violence you know, like, doesn't have to be yeah. like no. Nah, it's, and, it's know, they're it's well they, they're well played. It's not like the Marines. Like when we play the Marines, it's just like, can we say full retard? Is that you can say whatever you want? They go. They they, they literally go full retard all uh, the, the whole yeah. game. And, did they uh, go or were they there? Uh, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, it's nuts. It's a fine line. Did you go know. or were you already there? There's right. a lot of aluminum and crayons, and if you yeah. eat enough of that yeah. shit, you get retarded. But Bragg is just, you know, it's so professional, and the guys are just fun, and they, they go all out for the whole 80 minutes. Well, they're probably drunk, it. too. But so are the bootleggers. Uh, their name, our name is the Clayton Bootleggers. Oh, is so, it really? Yeah, we sponsor the team, and still we sponsor it. I can hear him saying that in an Irish accent. That's a violent sport to walk into intoxicated, by the way. You can't, <sighs> right? I, here's the That's thing. like being a fucking NASCAR driver and you just you, show up drunk as shit. I mean, but you they do American play in accent. Ireland, so I don't think they do too much that they're not drunk. Right. Well, so when the, when they played in Scotland a couple of weeks ago, they they were drinking at halftime, and they were playing internationally in Scotland. That's great. It's good for you. I, in your thirties, though, playing rugby, there's got to be a ton of injuries. Nah, right? nah. It's really? not like football. It's not like football. Nah. It's worse. There's no. No, pads. no, 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 no. no it's, it's, it's all better superficial. It's better. It's better. Because you're not. You, you don't have anything to protect you, so you're not going to fly mm-hmm. around and smash somebody with your face. Yeah. Okay. You know, and you have to wrap up. There was a research study actually yeah. done on this that there's been more injuries the better the equipment gets because the more pads you put on somebody, the more they feel they're invincible, so they hit harder. They they take chances they wouldn't. So gotcha. The old soft helmet uh, football teams. Unless you're Stu, uh, yeah. S- Stu comes out of almost every game with at least two black eyes. He's always bleeding somewhere, but it's all superficial injuries. You know what I mean? It's not like yeah, it's we always come out with two black eyes. It's not. A but big it's like in football. Yeah. It seems like people are like down for the count all the time. If you I, watch professional eyes, rugby, eyes, sorry about got that. Got you. I thought you said yeah, guys, two black guys. I was like, well, Stu. you should hear his American accent. For a white Irishman, that's pretty amazing. Two black guys are coming out of every scrum with you. I was like, um, all right, cool. Um, his, his American accent's pretty good? He's got a good one. Stu, come on up and give it to us real quick. God, come on up. Grab a microphone. Fuck it. We're We've been right drinking now. for six hours now, for six so hours it doesn't at matter. This point. So come on up and uh, grab a microphone. We talked about buttholes and... There it is, Stu. Getting pooped. You're a hulking it. type of dude. Any particular region? Yeah. Yeah, give us yeah. your Clayton Yeah, access. talk into the microphone, though, because this is a show. Yeah, the microphone is for talking into. Oh, heck. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. yeah. Oh, heck. I'm John Moxon. I'm just one man. Just one man. <laughs> <laughs> That's a Wilmington joke right there. That's a fucking Vanderbeek joke, yeah. you SOB. Where does an yeah. Irishman come up with a Vanderbeek joke? There you go. 
Uh, I saw Varsity Blues uh, when I was quite young. That's why he <laughs> moved. <laughs> that's why he moved to America. Yeah, he I saw Varsity that Blues. That He's that like, "Fuck this! I'm out of here." here. Now that's he's wearing an American flag on his goddamn yep. shoulder. There we are. That's great. Because of James goddamn Vanderbeek. You watched Varsity Blues over in Ireland? I did, yeah. Yep. That's great. I can't believe that movie traveled. I'm proud that it did. I love that movie. Yeah. Yeah. John Voight. A lot of whipped cream. Let's go, let's go. Over there. Yeah. Yeah. So, yes, I enjoyed that scene. That was great. <laughs> <laughs> and then I moved to America. Yeah. <laughs> and you realize, <laughs> oh, it's not fuck. like that. Like this, yeah, like this is where I need to be. Yeah, yeah. yeah you got to get fuck out of Ireland. A bunch of people fucking potatoes over there, right? Yeah, I was one of them myself. Were yeah, you? Yeah. Not, not, well, farming. Sorry, you said something else. Well, a potato I, fucker, yeah. Yes, farm, same thing. Really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> you get bored, What's you probably difference? fuck a potato yeah, and yeah. then make some. You're right in the field on your own. There's a lot of electrolytes of potatoes. <laughs> there are. There are, yeah. You know, they get a bad rap. People are eating sweet potatoes now, but you know, regular potatoes. I don't know any of the words a. you just said. I didn't either. Vitamin e. You <laughs> got, you started talking fast and like, yeah. Is this the Matrix? What the fuck's going All on? All of a sudden, it was like I heard a flute and a bunch of snakes <laughs> running down the street. <laughs> Um, I'm, ki- I'm ki- <laughs> kidding. I, Jesus Christ. It was, it was like the fucking leprechaun jumped off the Lucky Charms box. I'm joking. As an, uh, I want to ask you this. As an Irishman in America, what is like it's St. Patrick's Day? Is it weird that we rage so much over here for that? And it doesn't matter if you're Irish or not. Everybody just gets fucking wild as fuck here. I enjoy it. I'll be honest. You live it's, here uh, in Clayton? It's bigger. I like it North Raleigh. Oh, North Raleigh. Okay. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's bigger here than it is at home. But uh, I, have I would no, imagine I have no so, complaints. Yeah. Americans are just like, oh, it's a day. Let's get yeah. fucked up, man. Hell yeah. yeah. Let's, let's play some U2. What's your thoughts on U2 in real life? I mean, they're, they're pretty good. They uh, use a lot of special effects. <laughs> what do you mean? Have you noticed that? Oh, on the uh, guitars and yeah, shit? Yeah, like kind of a joke. You know, if there's a power cut at a U2 concert, it just kind of sounds like you're singing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's <laughs> a hot take on Bono right there. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right, fuck it. Let's go full Ireland. What about Conor McGregor? Pussy or real guy? You know, I, I, I can't work out if he's a genius or if he's mental. Yeah. I, you know, I'm, I'm one saying, of the, yes. one of the I, I mean, I he's still, making a shitload of money, so it's yeah. hard to say he's yeah. mental, right? I know. I, wait, have you had his proper proper 12? Is that what it is? I haven't. I haven't, but I've heard it's actually decent. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. Okay. What do you drink? Yeah. So I, I, you know. N- don't plug apart the company. From the fucking logo is everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just relax. Yeah. This fucking guy. From Ireland. What's your favorite whiskey, Ireland? So uh, I, I like the Black Bush. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, so the, uh, the Black the Bush. The Black Bush. Yes. Okay. Gonna uh, on the Red Breast. Uh, uh, I'm red the Breast. Uh, uh, so the Black br- Bush well, and the bird. Red Breast are my two favorite Irish whiskeys. Yes. Red Breast. Yes. Black Bush. Yes. <laughs> you don't see a lot of those. <laughs> um, I don't think you're idioms, not going to the right bars. Idi- idi- <laughs> I- idioms don't travel. So no. our sexual in the window doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense them, over no. there. So they're saying stuff. We're like, oh, that's weird, and they're like. You're no. So no, it, how, is that that black bush? Does that have a nice scent to it? <laughs> it's yeah, it's uh, it's p- it pungent for a whiskey. Yeah, it's it a pungent the whiskey, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, it stinks a little bit, right? It does. <laughs> it'll, um, it'll get you. But it, I heard it you. goes down really well. It does. Yeah, <laughs> you've you've heard right. You've heard correctly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you've heard correctly. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now, what was the red one? The red breast. The red breast. Red yeah. breast is yeah. a bird. Uh, you you bet. Um, no, it, it's it's a bird. It, yeah, it, it can and it can't be. Oh. Um, a lot of sunburn times with the red breast, huh? Yeah, you know, you don't want to you want to kind of protect those bad boys when you're out in the sun. You want to leave you know, it, you want to yeah. you want to lather up. You don't want to let it to aerate too much, yeah. right? I Correct. like Powers. Powers is a good Irish whiskey. Powers, yeah, it's, yeah. it's all right. It's, it's not all bad. right. It's like yeah, it's like, to go fuck it's like medium yeah. shelf though. It's not <laughs> great. It read between the lines. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you <remember? laughs> you can be honest here. You don't have to fucking couch your statements here. I mean, here. it's 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 a blend. You know. It's a blend. It's a blend. You know, blend. A blend. Yeah, bland, boring. Dan. Boring it means your, no. your your whiskey sucks. Blend. It means it's blend. more than one. It's a blend. Thing. Yeah, yeah, it's a blend. So I was right. <laughs> Sorry, it's, it's still good though. It's, I it's, didn't have my Irish translator here today. It's well <laughs> blended. Yeah. <you> know. <laughs> well blent. Yeah. Uh, beer. One Irish beer. I mean, I mean, I'm gonna go completely stereotypical here. Guinness. But however, Guinness. So you, have you heard of Murphy's Stout? Yes. Oh yeah. yeah. It's a fantastic start. Yeah, okay. it is. And the, r- the day I realized I preferred Murphy's to Guinness was somebody handed me a pint and I thought it was Guinness. And I said, this Guinness is absolutely fantastic. And then he said, it's Murphy's. And I was, all right. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> well, yeah. Guinness has been doing it for a minute. So if, yeah, if yeah. you can match that flavor, it's pretty good. Well, fuck, man. I think you've answered every Irish yeah. question I have. 
So Murphy Stout, um, that's my Irish How about that stout. potato famine? Yeah, how did you guys almost die? Yeah. Yeah. No, no, we've, uh, we've, we've diversified with the old uh, potato variety. So it was okay. uh, one particular variety that got hit pretty bad with the blight. So we're actually all right now. We've got, okay. n- we've got a number of varieties. So if one of them goes down, we'll be all right. And so you, were, you were a potato farmer, you said. I right? was, yeah, yeah. That's fucking crazy. Yeah, yeah but not that's only why that, I know this he won, he's an, uh, one of the best rugby players maybe in the state. But also, what is the other game that you play that you like travel all around? Oz- Aussie Rules. Ozzy Rules football. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was, like, I was in the army like with a guy that did football. that. Yeah. Yeah. That shit's yeah. crazy, yeah. man. Yeah. That shit's crazy as fuck. Way bit more running for my liking, but he has no yeah. off season. He plays all year. He goes from rugby to Aussies. I think we need to start a modern American football, which is like you get guns. Yeah, you just shoot people in the legs. Yeah, no, you get like you get like guns with sim rounds in it. You can just like if, if, if dude starts acting up, you can just pop him a couple times. Rubber, rubber bullets. Yeah, Some rubber knee bullets. knockers, brother. Some knee yeah. knockers. Uh, look, thank you for having us today. We greatly appreciate it. Um, I'm gonna, f- I'm gonna have some drinks with you now. Looking forward to it, big man. Yeah, <laughs> god damn it, dude. <laughs> Looking forward to it, big. It's nice to hear that in an Irish accent, you know. Yeah. Uh, Jesse, can you learn an Irish accent for me later, please? That'd be great. She's saying no off camera. Ah, looking so. forward to it, big man. <laughs> Looking forward to it, big man. You did. That's right. You did it in, in a night she cries yeah, while she he did. rides his steed. God damn it, man. I can't remember what I did yesterday. Uh, this <laughs> rum is really kicking in. <laughs> Highly recommend if you're in Clayton, North Carolina, come to Instill Distilling Company. Thank you for having us, sir. For Danthony and Anthony Holloway, I'm Ross Patterson. This is the Drinking Bros. Good night, everyone. LSU is up 19 to 13, deep into the second quarter. Uh, you will later. <laughs> Bye.